Hey, what's up, everybody? So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just jump right into it and um, and just you know I just wanted to let you guys know that what's very important is that you know that I care about you and your family and the well-being um, your happiness you know so um, I definitely want to just talk about a couple of things real quick mainly um, you know like I said you and your family especially your kids you know your, your health and well-being and being happy um, you know I, I know there's a lot of things that we're all going through everything's almost virtual now I mean you get your necessities and you know you know, some things are open, some things are not, just depending on where you're at in the country. I know over here um, in Texas, we've, uh, we're have we trying to get through a lot. And some people are on board, some people are not. But, you know, other than that, you know, I don't want to get too much into that. But, um, I mean, we dissect ourselves, you know. We, we continue, continue to be very hard on ourselves. And, you know, whether it's you know, in the job, our appearance, our self-worth, how we feel, how we think others may feel about us. But I just want to let you know, it's very important that you understand and know that there are people out there that care and have love for you and your family. And I'm one of those people. And, you know, I tend to look at myself and you know dissect myself in the mirror or so and i'm not afraid to admit it you know i mean you know right now i got the crazy hair going on here i'm balding on the sides i got crooked teeth you know um but all that really doesn't matter you know we we tend to make it seem like it matters and it really doesn't matter what matters is what's what's in your heart you know, that's what matters, you know, and it took me a long time, you know, especially, you know, from when I was younger to now, you know, what I thought and expected life, how that would turn out or how it be or how it would go, which I like I've said it in the past, I can't say that I've been any more happier in my life than, than now. And, you know, it's it's definitely been, you know pretty much from the relationship that I'm starting to renew with uh, with God so um, but you know with that being said you know with everything going on the the next thing other than yourself is like your family you know to make sure you're in tune with your family um, whether it's your kids cousins nephews nieces or just your family in general and, and friends you know, to make sure everybody's doing all right, you know, and, um, you know, I could say at a point in time, even someone as close as your family, there are people out there or there are certain things people are going through that they just, they feel alone. You could be in the same household and feel alone. And um, that's tough, you know, because what you think that everything's all good may not be and sometimes you think maybe something's not all, something's not right but and it is good you know but i think it's very important to make sure you and your family have a safe place um, a way to communicate to each other that to, to make sure you're checking up on uh, one another, you know, without judgment, you know, I think that's super important um, to be able to create that comfort zone for you and yours truly 
that if anything's going on, that you can talk with each other. Um, and maybe if you're you don't have a, a wife and kids or anything like that, but and you just you know, I mean maybe a friend you know to be able to do that for a friend as well. I think that's super important because there can be a time that someone feels so alone, and you know if you're not able to be in full control of your own mind and thoughts, uh, it could be a dangerous place. So. Um, you know, like I said, one of the biggest things I just, I just want to tell you all out there that, you know, um, if you guys feel alone, that you, you're not alone. Um, and if you feel like you don't have anybody, you could be you're more than happy to message me and I'd be more than happy to talk with you, you know, um, about whatever, you know, so um yeah that's very important you know your 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 self-worth that you know it's not limited to how hard you are on yourself or your physical appearance or anything it's it's all about how you treat people you know and um you know, they say, what do they say? Treat others how you want to be treated. I believe that um, you can treat others. The way you treat others comes back to you as well, you know? Um, a lot of times, too, what you're subjecting yourself to um, can definitely have an effect in your life. You know, so uh, with that being said, I'm going to, I'm just going to close my eyes and pray. Um, yeah. So, God, I just want to thank you for everything you've done. Thank you very much for being there for us in our times of need. Thank you for being for, being there for us as we journey in this life. As we search for answers that we know that only you will be able to provide those answers to. Those questions that we may have that ponder in our minds. God, I just want to ask that you allow us the ability to communicate with each other. And not to pass any judgment on anybody. We are not in that position to judge anybody. God, I ask that you open our minds, our heart, and that you allow us to have compassion for others in our lives, friends, families, and strangers, to have that humility, to be humble, and to be a blessing so we may bless others. God, I ask you in this time, if there's anybody going through anything, um, any type of hardships, health, financial, um, any type of struggles with mental illnesses, that you are there for them. God, I ask that through everything going on, that you help us be stronger as a family, that you help us be stronger and better as friends and just as a better person. God, that I ask that if anybody in our lives or if we ourselves have something going on in our lives and we feel alone, that you give us the courage to reach out to someone, to make sure that they're doing okay. And you give us the courage and you give the ability to overcome any type of fear that we may have about feeling judged by anybody or others. God, I, I ask that you come over the many people in the world that we all can be used as a tool to help someone else in need. God, I 
I know there's pain out there, but I ask that you allow us the ability, give us the words so that we can try to bring joy back into people's lives. Allow people to be courageous, allow people to be unafraid to communicate anything going on in their lives. Thank you, God. I appreciate everything that you do. I know you sacrificed your son. You did something that I know that I, I would not be able to do. I am not worthy. We are not worthy. But we thank you and give you glory and praise. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, yeah, I just want to let you guys know, I mean, like I said, anything. Just, you know, let's, let's come together. Let's put any type of differences aside and really strive to love one another and be there for each other you know well with that being said thank you all appreciate you guys tuning in um you know god bless you all y'all have a good day reach out to someone all right we'll see y'all